Before we go, I have been working for months on a documentary about the rise of Ron DeSantis, from a little-known backbench member of Congress to a leading presidential contender. Here's a clip. Freedom is here to stay. Before the first confetti cannon fired, talk turned to 2024 and that inevitable clash with another Floridian. And that is the rivalry between DeSantis and former President Donald Trump. Whom is the national leader? Whom's the leader of the party for Republicans? Is it Ron DeSantis? Is it Donald Trump? Or is it someone else? Of course, there was a time DeSantis was comfortable living in the shadow of former President Donald Trump. Build the wall. He reads stories. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I love that part. Those days are over. DeSantis is attempting to do something few Republican politicians have ever done successfully. Use Trump for their own purposes and then move on without him. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's hard to do. It'll be interesting to see how he survives this savagery that will come from Donald Trump and everybody surrounding Donald Trump. If Donald Trump's support made him governor, then COVID made DeSantis a national figure. This governor opened everything up and it's about freedom. And he wielded that word freedom into a cudgel to pass one of the most conservative agendas in the country. There's been no governor like him in terms of the way he wields the power of the governor's office. DeSantis will premiere Thursday at 7.30 p.m. online on CBS News Miami, and you can watch it next Sunday on TV from 8 to 9 a.m. right here on CBS. I hope you'll tune in. I really do. Now that's our show this week. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.